Hey everybody, been a while since I've done a garage video, but I have a little project that I'm hoping is going to work today, which involves uh, this, which is a foot pedal from a 1980s, I think it's probably 1980s, maybe 1990s, uh, electric keyboard. And it's just a jack plug, so my assumption is that this must be just a momentary on off switch. Maybe the mute pedal or something? I don't know. But the uh, first thing I need to do is open a parcel because, well, this is the first parcel I've been sent in forever to the PO box. And I have no idea what it is, so I'm just going to open it and see what it is. Could be anything. It's a blank piece of paper. It's a <laughs> it's Hang on a minute. That's not blank, that's got a dot on it. So I know who this is from, I think. Mr. Kiwi Jimmy. Um, he has left a full stop as a comment on one of my videos forever. Every video forever. And I can only assume that means this is from him. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but that's how I've come to that conclusion because that's, that's interesting. Why is this in here anyway? Through the belly. Ah, that's a nice sharp little scribe. That's very handy. I actually have a similar scribe, but mine has got a chipped um, end, so it, it's not very good because it kind of, rather than going in a nice smooth line, it's kind of like smooth, smooth. Oh, now there's a chipped edge. <laughs> so that's awesome to replace that. Yes. Nice and sharp and new. That can go straight on the board. Thank you very much. Use those all the time. And this, oh, this is an angle gauge measurer, isn't it? That, these are both in the, oh, look at that. In fabrication and making stuff, these are super handy and I don't have one. So, Mr. Kiwi Jimmy, if that was you, thank you very much, that was very kind of you. Uh, if it wasn't, whoever it was, thank you very much, that was very kind of you. I need to put a new screw up on the board. New tool. Well, because since I got the square that someone sent me, I've used this all the time. So this too, I imagine, will be very awesome. Thank you. I, my TIG welder has a switch control on the handle. It's just a switch here, so if I want to start welding, press the button. This is just momentary, uh, and it plugs into the front of the machine, which I'll show you in a minute, with a, a plug like this one. It's taken me five days to find these. I just go searching through the internet, and eventually I found them, because I kept finding them in the UK really expensive, or if I wanted them from like eBay, it was like two months away, but I managed to get them in about four or five days um, once I found them for about six pounds for two, so that's good. Um, and basically I want to make a foot pedal. Now, I must explain here before anyone explains it to me, I understand this is not going to be a normal foot control pedal. You see, a normal TIG welder, um, if, well, if it's got a foot control abilities, is that you can, it's like an accelerator pedal, you know, a little bit of power, the more you do it, it's, it the more power you get. So when someone's TIG welding, they'll be fluctuating it. It's one of the ways you get nice patterns. Um, Mine is just on or off, so it's just whatever the power is, on, uh, but it still would be easier at times if I could hold the torch without having to worry about my finger getting up here somewhere, or here. I know there's ways you can hold it and blah blah blah, but it's just, I think it would be easier for me at times if I was able to just use my foot to start it welding, rather than the switch on here. So it should be just a simple case of whacking it on the end of there and it should work. I'll just show you the front of the machine. The plug for the switch is just in here. I haven't actually checked to see if I've got the right plugs. I assume I did. See, it's just that on there and that switch on there. So there's nothing more to it than that. Let's have a go. Does the new one fit? It does, awesome. Okay, back to the other camera. So in theory, it should just be a case of cut the cable, put it together. Confuse me. Uh, right, how much do we need? Gosh, you really don't need a lot. Yes, I know I'm using scissors to strip wire. I don't actually have wire strippers, basically because I've never needed them. I've just always used scissors or a knife or something that's at hand, and yes, I know you end up nicking the cables and stuff if you're not careful. So don't do it. 
I don't think voltage is going to be an issue because this is probably, well, it'd be a solenoid switch. So this is actually not taking hardly any current. This is switching the switch, which switches the switch that switches the large amount of current. So uh, in theory, this shouldn't be a problem for it. I think I should make it clear here as well. I'm not an expert solderer or an electrician or anything like that. So, you know, I'm just trying this. I think it'll be okay. Hold on. I wonder how many people commented. You haven't put the plug on yet. You idiot. Yeah, I assume that goes inside. Yeah, that'll go on. Right, let's just try that again. Okay, one side. Okay. And I think that's supposed to go over there, but it's not really very tight. Maybe it's supposed to go in between. Mm. I have to put some tape on that. Just wrapping a bit of tape around here to uh, just beef it out so the cable grabber has actually got something to grab into. Though I might have to use a piece of rubber or something because there's quite a lot missing. But for now, I just want to see if this works because that's all that we really care about. Because it'd be—I don't think they actually sell these sorts of foot switches for these machines. Because they don't have a foot switch, but it's like, well, okay, it's not a variable foot uh, control, but at least you can use your foot. Assuming this works. I mean, this could be a variable control and this isn't going to work at all, but... Cable on it is the perfect length. Here's my TIG welding plate. Oh, if you're wondering what's happening with the TIG welded dragonflies, and if you don't know what I'm talking about because you're new to my videos, uh, my name is Spice110, I'm a metal artist. I make things out of well, clocks and sculptures and stuff, and I was working on um, setting fire to my pot of uh, solder on the edge there, because, you know, that was clever. Um, <laughs> the solder line fell off its little stand. When I say stand, it's it's this. It's you know, I don't have a great soldering line, but it does the job, it gets hot. Stay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, make, I was making these little dragonflies, and I made one out of, stain, of steel, and I was trying to make some out of stainless steel, and basically I had some problems, and I needed to get on and do some things that I was being more productive and making money, like making clocks. So I need to make a load of clocks, and then when I've got like a few of those sales are gone, I can invest some time into learning that. But of course, then I'll also be out making reviews of motorbikes and stuff. It's just tricky. So that's so they are happening. It's just as I said recently, it's going to take a while longer. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with this. Let's just find a piece of steel. On. I feel we have a failure. Yeah, it's trying to, um, it's on permanently. Which means this switch polarity shouldn't matter, so this has got to be a variable switch rather than just an on off. I think I'm just gonna walk the pins out. As I'm holding the casing and wiggling the screwdriver and the pins, oh, something just fell out on the inside as well. Just fall out. This switch is actually always on. What if I reverse the placement? This might work. I'm going to cut that pin off and I'm going to replace the, these little um, lever switches in upside down and see if I can get the pedal to actuate on rather than always being on. If it doesn't work, I break this housing or this little bit. I can fit another switch into it maybe. Or just find a different foot pedal that's got the right size thing to start with. Um, okay, I'm just going to enlarge this hole. The hell was that? Okay. Okay, my ideas are developing. This has turned into a simple thing into a bloody MacGyver job. I want to insulate this side of the switch. That's not going to work because the screw will, because it's metal, will complete the uh, circuit. 
between the two. Cover this screw head. Just realised. Scrape the tape back. And I just need something in here. A tiny bit of self-adhesive draft excluder. Is that going to be enough? In the future, I'll probably just find a switch out something to replace this with. But in theory... Okay, so what I did was I basically reversed the plates, isolated those bits off, bent these, bent the end over on that. So now it's off and it should come on. And with that piece of draft excluder in there, it should make the connection. There. Oh, they're like little collars. It's quite a nicely made little pedal, actually. It's probably because it came off quite an expensive keyboard back in the day. I almost feel like this is going to work. I should turn my gas on, otherwise I'm just going to obliterate my electrode. Okay, so machine on. Um. My god, this is dusty. Should ramp it up to 160 amps to see what has happens. So as a proof of concept, yes, you can make a foot switch uh, for the Rua, Rua, what they, 170, um, 170, I think it is, 170 two welders. You just need one of these connectors. I am confident this will work with no problems, although at some point it might stick on. Uh, but I don't see why, because it's, it's a mechanical switch. I've just reversed the way that it works. Um, nothing in there is doing a different job to what it was doing before, really. Though I do think that I might get a bigger pedal, maybe make a pedal, but putting a switch, just a normal switch, onto one of these will give you the ability to have a foot control. So, or whatever, you can, I mean, you can make it elbow control if you wanted to. There you go, that was an interesting little project that I thought I'd try out, and it worked, so that's good. Um, thank you for watching. If you found this interesting, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel maybe. There are also ways to support this channel by going to the Spicy 110 Metworks on Etsy, uh, and you can get a keychain or something like that. I've got some Tig Welder keychains on there. Or I might not by this point, depends if they sold out. Um, but yeah, I thought it was just a little one to make. You might find it interesting. Yeah, catch you next time.